Hi, thank you for joining me for another episode of Two Minutes with Joe. I have my coffee here, even though it is well into the afternoon and <laughs> maybe beyond coffee hour. However, still caffeinating and I'm hoping you are happily as well. Today's topic, we're talking about nonprofit management and what it means to fund your nonprofit appropriately. I think most people think of a nonprofit organization as if it's different than a business, and really it's not. You have to provide your value proposition, say what it is you have, what you're offering, what it's worth, and why it's worth that, and you have to prove that. And I speak to a lot of nonprofit leaders, and they're talking about not just providing their value proposition, but the, how they're gonna fund their operations into the future. How are they gonna make more money than they need right now? How is it they can stop chasing dollars um, and doing a better job of bringing in income so that an organization can be stable, so that they can focus on their mission and not bringing in the dollars, so that they can do more of their appropriate programmatic work. And one of the things that I teach my nonprofit leaders, um, my clients is to create a funding plan. How are you going to find that money in advance? Because it does work a little bit differently than businesses. For most businesses, the people that we're providing a service or a product to are the people that we expect to pay for that service or product. And in the nonprofit arena, it doesn't work exactly that way. So we have to figure out who our products and services are benefiting and who's going to be paying, because those are often two different subsets and two different sets of people that we have to please, that we have to prove our value to. Um, and so in doing, I offer them a funding planning. Um, you know, let's take a look at who you're getting money from, how you're getting money, and to stop looking at events as a way to just get more money, which I see a lot of nonprofit leaders doing to themselves. And I say it that way because when they talk about creating a new event in order to create new funds for the organization, they also sort of put themselves in a position of spending way, 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 way more time um, to create that, um, that piece that's going to bring in dollars that they may have a goal wrapped around, but there's no assurances of it. And so if I can offer one piece of advice to every nonprofit leader right now is let's let's take a look at some different income streams. Let's take a look at some things that might be more steady, more stable, more time oriented. And by that, um, I'm not sure I'm using the right phrase right now, but um, things that come in in a more timely fashion that you can count on. Um, we want to be able to rely more, more heavily on things that are more stable that will come in at the times that we need them the most. And sometimes that might be um, government funding, it might be grant funding, it might be just fundraising in a different way than creating another event. Um, something that is going to provide you with income and funding for your organization that isn't going to take so much of your time and your energy away from working on your mission. So that is the most important thing to me when I look at nonprofit later nonprofit leaders um, when they are looking at additional ways to bring in additional funding is let's find the things you're not fully taking advantage of right now or maybe some of the things that you're not doing at all that aren't as much effort as an event um, that will bring you more stable solid income and possibly more income um, so take a look at that when you're talking about your nonprofit income. What are the income streams that you have? What are the income streams that you're missing or the ones that you're not taking full advantage of? And which things can we do to bring in money that require the least amount of effort or at the very least, the least amount of effort and time spent somewhere other than focused on our mission work? So if you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section or email me. My contact information is in the about section of my YouTube channel. I'm Jennifer E. Goldman, nonprofit management consultant, and I'm here to help you achieve your mission in more effective ways. Thanks so much. Have a great day and enjoy your coffee.